All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's talk about inverse of a matrix. Inverse of a matrix. Okay, now let's go. What does it mean by the inverse of a matrix? So we say that given matrix A, the inverse of matrix A is a matrix such that the product of matrix A and the inverse gives an identity matrix i i.e when you say a multiplied by a inverse is equal to a inverse multiplied by a is equal to i so this i means identity matrix so identity matrix is also the same thing as saying one okay is the same as saying what one now we say that inverse of a matrix is a matrix so let's just say that we have matrix A. So the inverse of A of matrix A is a matrix such that when you multiply that matrix with A, it's going to give you identity matrix. So when you multiply the inverse and then the matrix together, it's going to give you identity. Okay? That is what inverse of a matrix simply means. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you some techniques for obtaining the inverse of a non-singular matrix. A non-singular matrix. So we said that there are commonly three techniques for obtaining the inverse of a matrix. That means in this video, I'm going to show you three techniques that you can use to obtain the inverse of a matrix so number one technique is adjoint method you know in our previous video we treated adjoint please i want you to study that carefully also for you to understand this okay and then as we go further i also want you to pay attention very closely all right now second technique we are going to use elementary rule operation elementary what rule operation so we can use elementary rule operation to obtain the inverse of a matrix and then the third technique is elementary column operation okay so we are going to treat these three methods please i want us to keep watching and watch attentively now let's go the first technique or the first method at joint method so we say that in adjoint method we find the determinant and the adjoint of the given matrix then the inverse is the matrix obtained when we multiply the reciprocal of the determinant and the adjoint of the matrix a okay now let me try to explain what he is trying to say when you want to find the inverse of a matrix using adjoint method we say that we are going to do just two things or few things number one you are going to find the determinant of that matrix that is number one and then when you get the determinant of that matrix then you find the adjoint of that matrix so when you get the determinant and the adjoint so the determinant you are going to say the reciprocal of that determinant or you simply say one all over that determinant one all over that determinant or the inverse of that determinant multiply by the adjoint that you just found so when you multiply this together it's going to give you a matrix called the inverse of that matrix in such that when you multiply this uh, inverse with the main matrix it's going to give you identity matrix let me come again i said when you want to find the inverse of a matrix the first thing you're going to find the determinant of that matrix you find the adjoint of that matrix then the determinant are going to say one all over determinant multiplied by the adjoint so the product or the resultant or what you're going to come out with is called 
the inverse matrix okay or the inverse of that matrix now let's take a look at this example okay now we have given matrix a given matrix a four three two two and then the question say find the inverse of matrix a using adjoint method okay we are asked to find the inverse of this matrix using the adjoined method now let's go we have the matrix a four three two two so the first thing we are going to do is to find the determinant so for us to find the determinant of two by two i know by now you know how to do it right so we're going to say four times two minus two times three okay now we're going to have eight minus six which is equal to two so therefore we have the determinant to be what two okay yes now we have found the determinant we keep it by the side and then we go further to find the adjoint of this matrix and then the adjoint of this matrix and then you discover that this matrix is what two by two matrix so for us to find the adjoint we have treated this in our previous video all right okay so to find the adjoint of this matrix we are going to interchange the entries of the leading diagonals i'm going to interchange the entries of the leading diagonals and then change the sign of the other diagonal okay so here we have matrix a four three two two okay so the adjoint when you interchange the entries of the leading diagonal we're going to have two four and then interchange their signs or the sign of the other diagonal so we have two three which is the other diagonal and they are all positive so when we change the sign we're going to have minus two minus three so the adjoint of the matrix we have is this two minus three minus two four okay so let's continue you know we say it when you get your determinant and then the adjoint i want to say one all over determinant multiplied by the adjoint is going to give you the inverse okay so now let's go i'm going to say inverse is going to give us one all over what is our determinant our determinant is two we're going to say one all over two multiplied by the adjoint so the adjoint is two minus three minus two four okay you know we treated multiplication of matrix and then i can remember that we say we have uh, two kinds of uh, multiplication we say a uh, scalar multiplication and matrix multiplication so what we have here is scalar multiplication and then the scalar that we have is one all over two so this one all over two multiply by the element in this matrix okay so we're going to have one all over two multiplied by two it's going to give us two all over two which is equal to one the one all over two multiplied by minus two is equal to minus two all over two which is equal to minus one the one all over two multiplied by minus three is going to give us minus three all over two the one all over two multiplied by four is going to give us four all over two which is equal to two all right so we have multiplied and we come out with a matrix two by two matrix okay we have one minus three all over two minus one two okay yes so this is called the inverse of the matrix a okay so please i want you to go ahead and multiply this matrix this inverse with the main matrix to see if we're going to have identity matrix which is one zero zero one okay please try it apply the rules in multiplication okay now let's take another example you know we just treated two by two matrix okay now how can we find the inverse of a matrix or uh, how can we find the inverse of three by three matrix okay now let's take this example two we say given that a is equal to one two 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 minus three minus one 
three, two, four. Okay, yes. Now we are asked to find the inverse of matrix A using adjoint method. Okay, now let's go. You know, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to find the determinant of this matrix. Okay, now, uh, you know, we have treated how to find the determinant. Okay, and we said that we can find the determinant using two methods using rule of Cyrus and then also using the first principle. Okay, let's quickly use the rule of Cyrus to find the determinant. Okay. Now, you know, you just simply draw your arrows in the main diagonal and then the arrows in the other diagonal. Okay. Now, you're going to have the first arrow. We have 1 minus 3, 4. Okay. So, we're going to say 1 times minus 3 times 4. Then the other arrow, we have 2 times minus 1 times 3. Then the other one, that is, we're going to say plus plus. Okay. Then the last arrow in the main diagonal. We have two, two, two. Okay, so that means we're going to say two times two times two. Then all these are in the bracket minus the other arrow in the other diagonal. Okay, so the first arrow we have three minus three two. So we're going to say three times minus three times two. Okay, plus the second arrow we have two minus one one. We're going to say two times minus one times one plus the last arrow we have four two two we're going to say four times two times two okay so when you simplify this together we're going to have minus 12 minus 6 plus 8 in bracket minus we have minus 18 minus 2 plus 16 okay so in the first one we're going to have minus 10 plus 4 okay so you say minus 10 plus 4 is equal to minus six so the determinant of this matrix a is equal to minus six all right yes now we have found the determinant let's keep it by one side and then go further to find the adjoint of that matrix okay so we say we have the matrix a and then we have to find the adjoint so let's form uh, a cofactor okay in matrix called cofactor that means going to have c11 c12 c13 c21 c22 c23 c31 c32 c33 okay now we have a uh, sign plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus okay yes now let's pick c11 and then the sign above it is plus. So we're going to have C11 is equal to plus. All right. Here we have C11. C11, which means row 1, column 1. Now let's go to the main matrix that we have. Let's cover row 1, column 1. So when you cover row 1, column 1 in the main matrix, what are the elements remaining? The element remaining are minus 3, minus 1 two four okay so we have two by two okay so that means we're going to have plus this element that's remaining that forms two by two matrix so let's find the determinant of this so when you find the determinant of this it's going to give us minus 10 okay so in the position of c11 we replace it with this value that we just got which is minus 10 okay now let's go again to c12 so c12 simply means row 1 column 2 so in the main matrix that we have let's cover row 1 cover column 2 so what do we have left we have 2 minus 1 3 4 so but the c12 the sign above it is minus right so we have minus then the matrix the two by two matrix that we have okay so when you find the determinant of this two minus one three four it's going to give you minus 11 so in the position of c12 we write minus 11 now let's also go to c13 c13 means row one column three so in the main matrix let us cover row one column three so when we cover row one column three we are going to have two by two matrix two minus three three 
true. So let's find the determinant of this. It's going to give us what? 13. Okay. So in the position of C13, we're going to write 13. Okay. Let's go again to C21. C21, which is row 2, column 1. In the main matrix that we have, let's cover row 2, column 1. So when you cover it, you are going to have 2 by 2 matrix, 2, 2, 2, 4. And then above uh, C21, we have the sign minus. So we have minus beside the 2 by 2 matrix, okay? So when you find the determinant, it's going to give you minus 4, okay? Now, in the position of C21, we're going to write minus 4. Let's also go to C22, which is row 2, column 2. Let's go to the main matrix. Let us cover row 2, column 2. When you cover row 2, column 2, we have the 2 by 2 matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's find the determinant of this matrix. It's going to give us minus 2. Okay? Let's also go to C23, which means row 2 column 3 in the main matrix let us cover row 2 column 3 so when you cover it you're going to have 2 by 2 matrix 1 2 3 2 okay 1 2 3 2 and then above c2 3 we have the sign minus okay so we're going to have the minus beside the 2 by 2 matrix so when you find the determinant of these 2 by 2 matrix it's going to give us 4 so in the position of c2 3 we're going to write 4 let's also go to c3 1 so when you go to c3 1 which is row 3 column 1 so in the main matrix let us cover row 3 column 1 so when you cover row 3 column 1 we're going to have 2 by 2 matrix 2 2 minus 3 minus 1 so let's find the determinant of this it's going to give us 4 all right yes let's also go and then in the position of c3 1 we're going to write 4 okay let's also go to c3 2 which is row 3 column 2 so uh, and the sign above this row 3 column 2 is minus. So we're going to have minus over bracket. In the main in the main matrix, let us cover row 3 column 2. So when we cover row 3 column 2, we're going to have 2 by 2 matrix remaining, which is 1, 2, 2, minus 1. So let's find the determinant of this matrix. It's going to give us five okay so in the position of c32 we're going to have five okay now let's also go to c33 c33 which is row three column three so in the main matrix let's cover row three column three so when you cover row three column three you're going to have two by two matrix one two two minus 3 so let's find the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix we're going to have minus 7 so in the position of c33 we're going to write minus 7 so we have found the cofactors of the matrix and then we have minus 10 minus 11 13 minus 4 minus 2 4 4 5 minus 7 so for us to find the adjoint of this matrix we are going to transpose these cofactors we are going to do what transpose these cofactors so what does it mean to transpose that is we are going to interchange the columns and the rows that is the first row is gonna be the first column the second row is gonna be the second column the third row is gonna be the third column all right now let's do it you know, the first row is minus 10, minus 11, 13. So it becomes the first column, which is minus 10, minus 11, 13. And then the second row is minus 4, minus 2, 4. Becomes the second column, which is minus 4, minus 2, 4. And then the last row or the third row, which is 4, 5, minus 7. It becomes the third 
column which is 4 5 minus 7 okay yes here we have found a determinant and then we also found the adjoint so we're going to say 1 all over the determinant multiplied by the adjoint okay so the determinant we have is what minus 6 that is going to have 1 all over minus 6 multiply by the word adjoint and then the adjoint what we have is this okay so let's multiply this so when you say minus 1 all over 6 multiply by minus 10 it's going to give us 5 all over 3 and then when you say minus 1 all over 6 multiply by minus 4 it's going to give us 2 all over 3 and then when you say minus 1 all over 6 multiply by 4 it's going to give us minus 2 all over 3 okay so we just multiply the first row the first row okay now let's go to the second row so we're going to have minus 1 all over 6 multiplied by minus 11 in the second row we're going to give us 11 all over 6 then minus 1 all over 6 multiplied by minus 2 still in the second row it's going to give us one all over three and then minus one all over six multiplied by five still in the second row it's going to give us minus five all over six okay now let's go to the third row so when you see minus one all over six multiplied by 13 it's going to give us minus 13 all over six and then minus one all over six multiplied by four still in the third row it's going to give us minus two all over three then lastly say minus one all over six multiply by minus seven it's going to give us seven all over six so this matrix that we just found here now is called the inverse of the matrix three by three okay which is one two 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 minus three minus one three two four all right yes if you want to prove if what we did is correct I want you to pick these two matrix, the matrix A, multiply by the inverse and see what you are going to get. Okay? Yes. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Let's take how to find the inverse of a matrix using elementary row operation. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Let's go. I'm going to cool down and explain it very well. Follow me gradually.